SCX25A. This is in fact the MP matched pair version. Mm. Jason, microphones from Audix. Yeah, look, I love Audix. I think they're criminally underrated out in the market, though you will find a lot of sound engineers who have got like a cult-like devotion to them out in the live sphere. And yeah, I think more people need to get their hands on Audix microphones and, and use them because they're, they're a ripper product. Now, you've been using Audix for quite some time. You've got quite a, yeah, quite a lot of yeah, Audix Yeah, I've got a bunch here. of D-series drum mm. mics and I recently added a new D4 and mm. it measures up pretty much to the same curve as the old D4 and that's good for, mm. you know, 10, 10 to 15 year manufacturing <laughs> difference. They're the same. Yeah, not bad at all. Um, but let's get back to this guy. Where they're do we see this guy? They're also the same. Yeah. Well, look, the application guide, and, and it's worth pointing out that this is something Audix does really well, not just mm. make microphones, but they actually give you instructions on how to deploy them in the yeah. box. Um, and that, you know, we saw that in the Fusion Series mm. kit. This is, is designed for, you know, miking up vocal groups, acoustic instruments, you know, guitars, that kind of thing, mm. drum overheads, room mics. Um, they've got a reasonably high SPL rating, but they do still suggest, you know, sort of minimum distance of around about a foot, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, but look, the, I think the really cool thing about this is the polar pattern, mm. which is, is very wide and it's very consistent in its response out to the edges, uh, a long way up in the frequency spectrum. Like you, you only sort of, if you look at the graph, you mm. only actually start to see a roll off out here at like 16 kilohertz. Yeah. And if, if your punters can hear that and your PA system can hear that, then you're in an amazing and slightly scary place. <laughs> um, yeah, speaking of punters, that's actually what you've you've tested these out on. I think the results were really interesting in terms of the way it responded. Yeah, yeah. Look, I took these out um, and, and fairly bravely put them on the front edge of a, a stage in a venue where I was doing a recording uh, to get some reaction sounds from the mm. audience because I didn't, you know, I had I had shotguns and I had you know, a bunch of other condensers, but you know, I had these. Mm. I thought, well, I don't really want a specific conversation in my mix. Mm. I want, mm. I want. You know the sounds of of close intimate crowd mm. but not specifically yeah. focused on you know one or two people and you get that if you're using a really mm. tight pattern on the mic because yeah. i was only a meter and a half two meters away from a crowd exactly um and these were great these gave me nice nice clean extended response through that top end mm. but without any specificity yeah not on focusing the vocal. In. yeah you know you couldn't sit down and hear mm. someone's conversation yeah amidst another five conversations. Yeah. That's why I think this would be absolutely brilliant picking up detail on, you know, small acoustic ensemble, string sections, an acoustic guitar, you know, anything. I mean, the response is like ruler flat all the yeah, way Yeah, yeah, it's, it's scary flat. And, and look, I think really these, the application I use them on was kind of halfway between stage and recording, but I think mm. you put them in a studio and they're just going to come into their own on another level entirely. Yeah, Audix, great manufacturer, great product.